this is a bridge I normally drive under and that's how flooded it is that is crazy but that's a big bridge and that is super super deep so you can see a um a truck there for scale oh shit so that car in front of me is a rolls royce so and it got stuck in the flood that is a rolls royce holy shit that's not good <laughs> that's kind of crazy The storm we experienced in Dubai was of biblical proportion, a once in a lifetime event with the most rainfall in 75 years. With two years worth of rain falling in one day, it's put the city in gridlock with roads and streets becoming flood water. The storm caught everyone off guard with its ferocity and the scale of disruption it has caused. So why was this particular storm so bad? Honestly, I've never seen so much rain in my life. Coming from the UK, I thought I was well versed with wet weather. However, this storm in Dubai was absolutely insane. The rain started at nine o'clock and then it quickly stopped. And then throughout the day, more storms came and it absolutely inundated Dubai with the amount of water which fell on the city. What usually happens in Dubai when it rains is it's a very heavy downpour and there might be some surface flood water but these will quickly drain and the streets very quickly will become clear. However, the storm on Tuesday was very, very different because it started raining at nine o'clock and very quickly this ferocious storm swept into the city. It absolutely drenched Dubai. There was lightning, thunder, and it completely flooded the streets. And like in Dubai usual style, the rain stopped after about one hour. So there I was at about 10 o'clock thinking, okay, the rain stopped and that's the end of the storm. However, I was very, very wrong indeed. A few moments later. Then at about 2.30, the sky went a deep gray. There was like a yellow to green haze. And in the distance, you could just see lightning and thunder. It honestly felt absolutely crazy. And I could see this storm slowly closing in. There's a big tall building in the distance and then this building suddenly disappeared. And then when the storm hit, I have truly felt nothing like it. It was honestly of biblical proportions. <laughs> the rain, sheets of corrugated iron flying through the sky, fences collapsing, signs falling over. Honestly, it was absolute chaos. I, I felt like I was in a tornado, but after about an hour, the rain stopped and the wind subsided and I went and drove around. So many of the streets were flooded and there was debris everywhere. But at least then I thought the storm was over and that would be the end of it. But again, I was very, very wrong. The worst was yet to come. A few moments later. So then at about six o'clock, bearing in mind we've had two other massive downpours of rain and the streets and the roads are already flooded, the rains come back with a vengeance and they're the heaviest and longest 
of the whole day. And what you've got to remember, it's six o'clock, people are trying to get home and they're getting stranded in their car. So I actually went for a drive in the storm and near Albarari, I was following a Rolls Royce and there's this massive flood water. I'm talking about, it's not a puddle, this is, this is full on flood water. I stop my car and think, there's no way I'm going through here. I watch a Rolls Royce trying to go through, halfway through, guess what happens? Rolls Royce got stuck. Oh shit, so that car in front of me is a Rolls Royce So and it got stuck in the flood. That is a Rolls Royce. Holy shit, that's not good. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. And this happened all over Dubai. In that six o'clock period of time, the rains were non-stop. It just carried on going on and on again. And the lightning, every five seconds you'd see a flash and there'd be thunder. And this was relentless. This went on for another hour and a half. So this is why the storm was so bad. It wasn't just one downpour which caused it. It was multiple different heavy downpours which completely inundated the drainage system. And that's where we saw the widespread flooding. I believe it was roughly 250 millimeters of rain which fell in less than 24 hours. Any city in the world would have struggled with that amount of rainfall. So after a crazy 24 hours of seeing Dubai in the news, of seeing the flood waters, of seeing the chaos at the airport, is buying Dubai real estate still a good idea? So I'm going to ask you the question, is this one-off event going to affect the long-term trajectory of Dubai? The answer is no. Dubai is growing at such a crazy rate and a one-off weather event is not going to disrupt the growth this city is having. Dubai is aiming to be the next financial center of the world and rain isn't going to stop that. But what are three things you can do to protect yourself from freak weather events? So first of all, it's investing in a reliable developer. All across Dubai right now, there's people who invested in poorer quality developments because they didn't want to invest the money in a high quality developer. And guess what? Their properties had problems, there were leaks, and there were many issues. So the second big point is insurance. Dubai is not immune to freak weather events. For this reason, having the correct insurance is so, so critical. It will give you absolute peace of mind if something like this does happen. And finally, the third thing is reading reviews online. Before you make any property purchase or investment, Google if that particular property or community suffers from leaks or any flooding issues. If they do, then it is even more important that you do take out insurance, which is good. So if a worst case scenario happens, you can claim. And if you're thinking of investing or moving to Dubai, but you don't know the city at all, watch this video here and don't forget to like and subscribe.